Tonight, Steve Hartman does a deep dive and finds the key to success on the road. They were the bad news bears of swimming. Y'all are in two minutes. In fact, Coach Alex Wiedemann yeah. of Seguin High School in Arlington, Texas, says you can't overstate their underachievement. Our goal every meet was to finish the race. Just get across the pool? Get across the pool. Really, we measured our success on not getting disqualified. And because that was the standard, four years ago, Gerald Hodges made the team, perhaps the only kid to ever make a high school swim team without a clue how to swim. We had to get anybody. It the didn't matter. He didn't know how to swim. He couldn't get across five yards, let alone 25 yards. Was there really nobody better? No. <laughs> Come on, Gerald. Come on, Gerald. Eventually, he at least learned how to not drown and even finish some races, albeit long after the other competitors were done and toweled off. Push it. Come on. Yes, he was that bad, which is interesting oh. because on dry land, Gerald is a remarkable athlete. Could you have made the basketball team? I think so. Could you have made the football team? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Soccer team? Pretty positive. <laughs> so why swimming? I felt like if I couldn't handle not being good at something, then how could I consider myself, you know, a successful person? That quote bears repeating. If I couldn't handle not being good at something, then how could I consider myself a successful person? To Gerald, setting yourself up for failure is actually the key to future success, especially if you can somehow manage to master your weakness. And by the start of his senior year, Gerald had actually improved a lot. But no one really knew how much he'd improved until a big regional meet earlier this year. It was the 200-yard medley relay. Top two teams qualify for state. And as usual, Seguin was pretty much in last place with 50 yards to go. And that's when Gerald jumped in the water. Keep in mind, at this level, making up any significant time is nearly impossible. Unless maybe you've got something to prove. Unless, maybe, there's an extra drive deep within anyone who knows what it's like to be dismissed. Whatever it was, the kid who couldn't swim just sent his team to state. Man, we was ecstatic. I could barely contain my energy as I was trying to go get this medal. I'm sitting here just freaking out. You're like, having a hard time now. Yes, like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I've come so far. <laughs> From now on, whenever you think anything is impossible, Think of Gerald. Whenever you think America has lost its heart, think of Gerald. Steve Hartman, on the road in Arlington, Texas. Oh, baby, that is awesome.